Hello and welcome in this video for this exercise which was given during the recent math Olympiad uh, Junior in, two, in 2021 and uh, you've got this equation x power 4 minus 2 x cubed plus x equal to 6 what is the value of x if x is a real number so if you want to give a try please pause the video otherwise let's see the solution many ways to solve this one way is to end up with the quantity equal to zero so let's move this six on the other side of the uh, equation so we end up with x power 4 minus 2 x cubed plus x minus 6 equal to 0. So the first term x power 4, 4 is an even number and then we've got negative 2 x cubed. So this term 4 is an even number and um, we are going to set that to the remarkable identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This is a minus b squared. So we're going to modify the first term and the first term instead of writing x power 4 we're going to write x squared squared. So now let's modify the second term and second term so it can be written as negative 2x squared x. So with these two first terms we've got the beginning of the remarkable identity. One term is missing. This is x squared. So we're going to add x squared and subtract x squared at the same time. So we end up with this. x squared squared minus 2x squared x plus x squared minus x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0. So this first three terms are the same as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This is a remarkable identity. So this is x squared minus x squared and minus x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0. So now let's set capital X equal to x squared minus x. So this is capital X squared minus capital X minus 6 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. If we want to solve this, first we need to calculate what we call the discriminant delta. This is b squared minus 4ac. This is negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 6. And the value of delta is 25. So then capital X, there are two values for that. This is 1 plus or minus square root of 25 over 2. And this is 1 plus or minus 5 over 2. So, capital X, this is 3 or negative 2. And with that, capital X, this is X squared minus X. So, now, let's find the values of X. So, first case, X squared minus X equal to 3. This is exactly the same process. You put this 3 on the other side of the equation. So you end up with x squared minus x minus 3 equal to 0. Then the value of x is, okay, we've got two values, 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 3. And this is over 2. Okay, if you do the math, you end up with these two roots, 1 plus or minus square root of 13 over 2. Let's see now the second case, and the second case is this one. x squared minus x equal to negative 2. 
If you put this negative 2 on the other side of the equation, you end up with x squared minus x plus 2 equal to 0. Then, if you calculate, well, the discriminant with the same formula, b squared minus 4ac, this is minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2, and you end up with negative 7, and we know that when the discriminant is below 0, strictly, there, is, there, there are no real roots. So we end up with the values of x are 1 plus or minus square root of 13 over 2. So thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.